Don't forget to check out my Patreon where we have exclusive content such as Camp Zero Base One, Seventeen's Nana Tour, Seventeen in the Sioux, Finding Stray Kids, Black Pink House, EXO's Ladder, EXO Showtime, A Pink Showtime, and tons of other content including extra variety shows, K dramas, animes, and movies. Hey, Angie here, and today is the day of the Seventeen comeback. I feel like this is the most subdued comeback in terms of like. I kind of forgot it was today. I don't know if it's just me. I just feel like I kind of just forgot it was today. Like I didn't like once I saw it, I was like, oh yeah, it's today. But like I, I don't know. I felt like there's usually more hype with it. There was the teaser. I skipped. I didn't like look at the teaser. All I know is it's kind of like a darker concept and stuff. Um, and I do hope it's more fear instead of super. And yes, people will be like, oh, there's meaning behind why Super was blah, blah, blah. And there's meaning behind this. I don't care. It doesn't make me like the song. I respect it. I like why and how Wizzy came to the conclusion of it. Like, when I say I don't care, I'm meaning more like, that doesn't mean I will like the song. That just means I'll respect the song. Because obviously I respect any song they make. They put their blood, sweat, and tears into it. They put their hours of time into it. They work very hard on it. Um, but that doesn't mean I'm always gonna like the song. Um, but yeah, I hope it's more fear than, um, super, you know what I mean? Like, I hope it's more that way. More, like, I don't want it to be, like, noise music. Like, I feel like super and hit are more, like, heavy instrumental. I kind of hope it's more... Like the vocal and rapping of like fear but i mean hey regardless it's 17 so i'll probably enjoy it at least to some extent because i do like watching the performances of super and i like the choreography of it i just didn't care much for the song like i don't listen to super i don't listen to hit but i listen to like fear and stuff um but let's hop into the video i know there was like a lot of hate on this because i like I guess AI stuff. I'm not gonna sit here and like, I have no, I don't understand that stuff. Um, so yeah, that's all I'm gonna say. I don't understand AI. I don't like understand how it even works. It's like, it's kind of like the NFT stuff. Like, I don't get it. Doesn't mean I'm for it or against it. I just generally, like, I've tried watching videos on why it's harmful, why it's not, like, both sides to, like, to from my opinion. And I, to this day, don't understand either side. And I don't get what it even means or how it works. Because I'm very technologically ignorant and dumb. And I don't get how it works. <laughs> so, I'll just say I, I, I wish they didn't do that. <laughs> uh, I think I get, I get it a little. But I'm not going to pretend I know why or... I'm, I'm not gonna like boo it because I, I just I'm so stupid and I don't get it <laughs> like I don't get how it even works or why it's bad I just know it's bad and I will side with that just because everyone that I respect seems to think it's bad so I'll just follow the crowd in that form because if they think it's bad then it's probably because <laughs> they're smarter than me and I'm gonna trust them um but yeah boo I, I boo <laughs> But hype's been fucking up a lot these past few days. <laughs> but I don't know how you tell if things are AI, because I'm kind of stupid. Like, I don't- I'm gonna look at this and I won't know what's considered AI here. This might be the Joker. From Wanu. Wait, is this Wanu? Wait. Wait, 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 wait. I- uh, It's probably not, but like, that just reminded me of Wanu's- Joker performance in was a diamond cut. I, I when he was playing the piano and he was like, ah, like and, and, you know that that very sexy performance. And then they they cut to this. It's probably woozy though, but like it reminded me of like that whole thing. But yeah, like what's the difference between AI and like? CGI and how like how do people know what things are AI because I'm, I'm gonna see if I can figure it out because like, I'm gonna see if I can point it out because I, I really don't know how people know and how to tell and 
because everything kind of like just like from the small clip of the teaser i saw i'm like is that not just any other music video like k-pop music video it didn't look different to me so i don't know how people can tell but i'm not saying people are wrong i'm just confused i don't know like is this cj i don't know i mean I ai <laughs> we won't focus on too much now There's like lyrics and Oh wow. Yeah, it's a bougie. The form of Oh whoa, wait. DK is blonde, wait. I don't know what maestro means. I'm assuming it's a master. Vernon's been in the center so much in like a few of the comebacks the past couple years and it's just all I need because Vernon's dancing is so it's not like the craziest dancing ever it's just like something about him dancing because he's just someone who you if you were talking to him and you didn't know he's not you wouldn't think he dances <laughs> He doesn't seem like someone who would dance. And I know he's been dancing for years, and I'm not new to that. But, like, anytime I see him dance, I'm like, oh, yeah, he he dances. You know? He's one of those people. Like, Minghao, Mingyu, um, like, Hoshi, you know, you can look at them and be like, oh, yeah, they would dance. But Vernon's like, I always forget. <laughs> I always forget he can move. But when he's in the center, it hits different. Is, is that AI? Oh, that's so cool. Okay, but like, okay, I'm sorry. One last one, one more question. So is CGI bad? And if CGI is not bad, why don't they just use CGI instead of AI? Like, why do people prefer the AI than the CGI? Because to me, this just looks like cgi so if this is ai like the little robot people and stuff why don't they just use cgi i'm very confused am, am i stupid like i just really don't get it <laughs> like why how do you know the difference like are these little robot dog thingies and these robots like are these ai but like if, if ai is bad and i still don't get why it's bad but like i i kind of get it like I, i've seen like two cases with that and that's where i'm like oh yeah that's bad. but like like this stuff i don't quite understand it like i'm not saying I, it's, I i just don't get it but because it is because I, I know it is then why don't they use cgi because it doesn't look any different to me than cgi so what's the difference i don't understand stay in school kids <laughs> i feel so behind in the world those little robot things are ugly little dogs this video, this clip is so cool. Manu said, I am main character. Yes, sir. Oh. Wish is not man. Sir. June. June. I'm not gonna lie, all music videos are looking the same now, so the last one looks so freaking cute. This music video is fine. It just looks like every other. Like, honestly, it reminds me of La La La, the music video and this part. No one's sold. I love both. I think I like this song a little more. Wow, there are parts of this kids. Oh, Stray Kids that I like too. But yeah, same chorus. <laughs> wow. That's cool.
Because even the video, they both have like an orchestra thing going on. Like they kind of low-key. It's kind of the same as Drake is. <laughs> Once again. Ooh. No one's old. Like I like both. And they do have different messages. I don't really like this part that much, but the Miha part was crazy. I don't really like this part either, but it's a cool dance part. That's like a, the super thing. But this dance looks familiar too. Wait, what was this from? I, don't, I forgot what this thing is, but like that thing's that thing, and I, there's like a meaning to it, and I forgot what it is. Um, I don't know what Master means. I gotta look it up because I don't know. Mm -hmm. I, I, my mind just goes master. Meaning. A distinguished musician, especially a conductor. Okay, so a master, which is like, it's, that probably is where the word comes from. It's the thingy, the conductor guy. <laughs> But it's a, a distinguished musician. So this is not as a 17 thing, but a thing in general. I'm kind of tired of the I'm the best, I'm the leader, I'm so cool, I'm like a bragging song. Like I'm tired of the bragging song. They're all the same now. <laughs> uh, I feel like I'm being a little more harsh lately on music and K-pop, but it's because I'm kind of just sick of these trends. And like whether it be the music videos are all kind of looking the same recently, the songs are all kind of starting to sound the same recently, and then the lyrics are all kind of the same recently. Like, I'm gonna make it look easy. <laughs> or, uh, what was it? There was, I, I noticed it mainly over here. Like, a, a little bit of a bragging. Oh, where was it? And so we're in an old group, so I mean, go life, we go global. What was it? There was like a big part where it was very obvious. Dang it. Where was it? Was the rapper? Change the rhythm like this. It was kind of like no matter what we do, we kill it. Like and like. No, this wasn't. It. I like that line. As we complete this piece together, right? I see us running before. Oh yeah, this is where it, here it is. Doesn't matter the classical or new thing. We take pride in our new combinations. From the beat to the melody, mix and matches our thing, which I guess it was there. I mean, I, I never thought of 17 as like that, but it's alright, it's cool. Crazy is the new normal. Because we changed the world, which that's a big... <laughs> Double the scream. Looking at each other. I couldn't tell if it was kind of satirical. Play the trumpet. It's just, it's not even just 17. Like every group recently, Stray Kids. Um, NCT always did it, which was kind of ironic and funny. But, cause like they said it even when they debuted and stuff. Um, like, uh, the side of him. I think Aspo says it sometimes, Stray Kids specifically, and was out of him. It's always like, you can't touch us, we're untouchable, like, we're just that bitch, like, we're so good. 
uh, we change the world, we follow our own rhythm, which is kind of like no one really follows their own rhythm in K-pop. No matter how much Seventeen and Stray Kids produce their music, you at some point have to follow the trend a little bit. And I actually just compared them a lot because both Lala and Mastro are very similar. Once again, I love them both for very different reasons, but like both songs are really good. But even down to the video and everything, it's very similar. And I don't remember the lyrics to La La La, but I'm pretty sure it's probably like this. Um, which I'm not at all saying something copied it, because who knows when Boozy uh, made the song and stuff. Like, the songs don't really sound that similar. It's more just like the vibe of them. Hmm. The video was fine. It apparently has AI in it so that sucks but it's kind of just fine it's a little boring i'm probably not like it's not one i'd rewatch. there's a lot of dancing parts and i'm kind of tired of music videos looking just like performance videos with just some cuts of random nonsense like i'm not even sure what the like i kind of wish maybe like i, I like some of the it's, it's more just vague symbolisms music videos right now are just performance videos with vague symbolisms um like i like parts of it i kind of just wish it was more like maybe a story or just more visual symbolism that was like i like the wanda's part because it felt like there was like stuff happening there anyways song's great love the song didn't love the little dance part at the end but that's fine like that'd be cool for the performances and now we have Lali, so here's the S. We actually, who did Vernon partake on the song? It already sounds like a Vernon song, so I'm kind of scared. Um, sample of his own song while composing Oh, interesting. Okay. Uh, that's... Okay. Um... Dang it, what is the name of this album? I forgot the name of it. like 17th year or something 17 right here <laughs> credits why are they so freaking telling me I can just freaking find it. Oh, whatever. I'm assuming Vernon to know to this. It just sounds very Vernon esque. Maybe a little Wanu. It's reminding me of, uh, what was the old. Let Vernon Curse 2024. <sighs> it reminds me of one of the earlier hip hop unit songs. Siren. Back it up. I'm actually back at home. Mm. Which was not old, actually. Well, now it is, I guess. I'm not a big hip hop fan. Hip hop team fan. This one's fine. Well, I'm not too. I love Monster. And I ironically like Game Boy. <laughs> yeah, this reminds me of a. Back it up and um, I think a little bit of like what's good. 
time I think. Oh, oh yeah, maybe oh yeah. Why can't I want to shout at me in other songs? I need more crazy, unhinged Wanu. Like in group songs. That's like me to me. I might be able to, I, I, can, I can do with the uh, who are is because these verses are great. Wait, wait, I might it's going on, it's going on me. I think it's gonna be like Game Boy where I'll come to like it. Cause I don't think I liked Game Boy at first. Maybe I did. I just feel like we're in a perfect on this one. No, one who's shouting is what I need. Like, I kind of need that enough. Now, this song is kind of just hilarious. No, one who's mad. Like, one who step on me. One who punch me. <laughs> But why is it banned? It's, he didn't curse. It was beeped. What? Anyways, that was a bop. I like Master of More. But I think this one might go into like the Game Boy one. Where it's like I'll ironically listen to it. Not because this one's bad. Game Boy is just kind of crazy and weird. It's a weird song. Like it's kind of like a not like other girls song. <laughs> so it's more like a... I ironically listen to it. This one's like a mixture of I ironically will listen to it because I don't I personally just don't like the instrumental in the chorus. But the verses are so good, so it kind of like evens out the like ironic and unironically listening to it. Um but I can see that one being a bop. I want this to be Pong 2.0, and it's probably not going to be because y'all just hated Pong for some reason. Okay, I kind of want to more of a cute song. This might be more of a, not wave, uh... Was it wave? Wait, is wave a... Wave is a perfect change song. I think. Hoshi looks so cute. I need, I need June to wear the hat like that too. Oh. Oh. God, I love Jane Boys. I'm scared. I'm scared. I hope the course is good. I'm scared. I feel like we're gonna get swimming full nonsense. Which I like swimming pool, but... What was that the chorus? Oh, oh she's a little voice here. I think that say camp part was me out. Is any of this them? Why is I'm getting thrown off here? This 
sort of confuses me. Is this them? It sounds like Miyu or someone. I can hear Uzi doing the back and forth. Was any of that them? My head hurts. Or was it like all of them? But why? Um, that confused me. My brain hurts. This is my favorite song. This is like a, a not a call a ballad RB version of a uh, Lily I buy. The way Dino and what she say that the makeup on Dino is crazy. I love it. Okay. I don't understand, but I love you guys. <laughs> I love this song. I love the lyrics. I love the simple vocals. Oh, the simplicity of it. I just know this choreo is going to be... Beautiful. I wonder if they'll ever tell us what it means. <laughs> that was beautiful. That's my favorite song. I am a vocal unit stand, vocal team stand, so. But I feel like not much lately. I feel like it's been switching around a bit. Like, I, I love the majority of my favorite songs are from the vocal team. Okay. Okay. Hello. Oh. This is more of a song I would have pictured, like, all these members singing. Johan's gonna shine on the song. I can already feel it in my gut. Johan and DK. Guaranteed to them, too. They're gonna kill it. Imagine doing this. Dun, dun. DK, why are you looking at me so intensely? I love Josh's voice in these parts. What? Was this the song first? Well, I saw someone like said so Woozy wrote. I think it's this song? First, was it someone? Like, Circles is for Wanu. Can't remember. DK. I've been crushing on DK recently. You gotta let me be here. I'm pretty sure you guys can tell me if I'm wrong. Pretty sure the song is for someone. Like, I'm not theorizing. I, I, I think I saw that. Like, I can say that. Or imply it. But I don't know if it was the song. I'm sorry if I'm wrong. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> I'm just 
Twitter. Wait, is that the end? Yeah, at least it's three minutes. Dun -dun. Why does that sound familiar? Um, Uzi wrote. Let's see what pops up. Oh, circles. Uzi sent Yon to. Okay, Yon was for someone. And then was it for Hoshi? Or was it? I think it was for Hoshi. Let's see. One, two, because the woman is a girl beyond. Cheers for youth because Hoshi's word when he apologized to the members. Interesting. Like, I knew it was those three, and I couldn't remember which songs were for. I, I just knew Circles, of course, and Wanu. And I knew there was a song for someone and Hoshi, but I couldn't remember if I was flipping them. Gorgeous. Um, yeah, I think every song on this album was three minutes long. I could be wrong. Um, or at least hitting the three minute mark. Let's see. Three minutes. Lally, la, 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 is the only one that didn't, but gorgeous. Freaking loved it. This album was great. I think Spell's my favorite. Then Cheers to Youth. Then Maestro and then La La Lee. But La La Lee, or La La Lee isn't even a bad song. Like, I, I think this is the first 17 album in a bit where I literally like and love every song. Um, and that's not to say the other albums were bad or anything. It's just more like, oh, you know, obviously they are growing and changing and switching it up a bit and keeping it fresh and experimenting a bit, which is totally respectful and fine. Love that. But, like, obviously that means not everyone, or at least I'm going to be honest, not me. I don't love everything they do. But same with Stray Kids or even BTS. Shh, don't mention their name. <laughs> um, or like uh, 80s and stuff like, and Idol. Like, I, I give them more leeway because I know they're working on their the music. And to me, I, I just respect that more. Whereas if it's a company, like very much the company's in control of the music, but it's a little more like, oh, well, this is just trash. <laughs> but if it's like, oh, the the idols are working on the music. Um, even if it's only a little bit, like, 80s don't work on every song. Um, but, like, Hong Joon partakes in most of them. Or, or at least has a hand in it at times. Like, I'll just respect it more because... And I'll, like, be more lenient just because unless it's getting ridiculous like with idol where like every song is like two minutes and it's like okay you're actually working on the songs can you give them a little more substance personally my opinion um but like 17 stuff like everything they touch i respect because they're putting their time and energy into it and it's a little bit of them in it so i will always have more softness to what they do because i love them it's like even if your kid makes a trash painting you like you you want to like <laughs> you'll you'll like respect it a little <laughs> you'll part of you will like it to some extent <laughs> even if wizzy even if i don't love the lyrics of maestro just because i think it's just because i for one super super's more like we love ourselves and stuff this one's more like we're the best we kill. I mean, I could have misunderstood it, though. Like, at first, I thought it was satire. So, I'm not sure. But I just didn't love the uh, lyrics. And then, like I said, it's also... There is... Wait one sec. It's crazy how a lot of people didn't like this song, apparently. I mean, I am on Reddit, where it's more... People are more critical. Um, But it's, I'm under 17, right? Like, the... 
what's it called? I only use Reddit for like K-pop opinions and stuff to just get a gauge on things. Um, lyrics t seem to take a backseat on the song. I like the lyrics seem intentionally silly. Mm -hmm. So unlike hit, I don't think they're intentional here, and that's where I feel a little, mm, like uh, I think what got me was the line where it said it's our thing, and I'm like, is it your thing? <laughs> is it your thing? Um, where was it? The um, the line where I think it was Vernon. Uh, uh no 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 um. It doesn't matter either classic or new thing. We pr take part in our new combination from beat to the melody, mix and match. It's our thing. But it's really not your thing. Like we like it's it's very evident in K-pop that like most groups mix and match their sound a lot. And in in the past like five years, the noise music's been very popular, which is the if they're meaning like mix and match sounds in the song, has been very evident for like a few years now. And they only started doing it not that long ago. Um, so I, that, that line just really bothered me as someone who is listening to way too much K-pop. And I've heard good and bad mix and match sounds. And Seventeen, my favorite group, where I've probably listened to their songs the most out of any group, can say that that's just not true. <laughs> um, and I, I thought it was going to be a little cynical and ironic, but it, it doesn't feel like it is. But like I said, it's just kind of a thing in K-pop recently, where I don't think there's AI in the music video, only CG. That's what I'm saying. But I don't know. Yeah, I'm very surprised a lot of people don't like it. Like I said, it reminds me of Stray Kids and stuff. I was looking for a banger like Super, so that's where it's going to be the difference, is I prefer this and did not like Super, so maybe people who prefer Super wouldn't like this, which I find odd because I feel like this is actually somewhat similar to Super, but I don't know what the- I mean, hey, sometimes I don't like songs that you would expect to like because you like songs similar to it, but something about that song just doesn't do it for you. Um, but most people like the bridge, which is all because I didn't like the bridge. Um, anywho, you know how it is with Seventeen, I always linger more on them. I feel like some people would be mad at me not liking the lyrics and stuff, which is fine. Because it seems like a few people in this thread don't like some of the lyrics either, but not for the same reasons. I think people just find them lacking, but it's not like Super had crazy lyrics either. So I know, I, I feel like they focus the lyrics more on the B sides. I feel like 17, I mean, of course they have beautiful lyrics in some of their songs, but I feel like most of the lyricism, like the heavy, um, poetic lyricism, like, um, uh, which one was it? Uh, Spell. Like, that goes more for the B-sides, but anyway, I loved it. It's probably my favorite album since, uh, not, probably since Attacka? Maybe Attacka? Sector 17. Since Sector 17. Um, definitely my favorite since that one. Which wasn't too long ago. Two years ago. Um, once again, I like the other albums. It's just like, this one hit more for me. Um, but I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.